Hello everyone. So this is a combi pin. We've all seen this before. You find this in the Astro Twin combi, System 10, System potentially System 20, Triton, uh, the 1994 Astro Twin, uh, sorry, Trailing Twin Control. They're well used stuff. Uh, they're from quite long ago. Somebody really clever found out that we can actually have a pin that needs to be lifted to the correct height and rotate so that the sidewalk can fall in. We have five, five of these in the lock. Uh, max is five. There are more than five. And um, they're very difficult to pick. As you can see, they have serrations on the back here. This causes them to bind up a little bit more in the lock. And makes them ultimately diff more difficult to rotate. So uh, We also have... Um, uh, lifting these things here is really not a problem. The hardest part about these things here are their rotation. So. But we still need to have both of them in a tool. Uh, I'll show you another tool that I made for these things here. And it just does the rotation. You have to do the picking with the other part. Uh, and I have actually managed to pick this lock with it. However, it is very difficult and blight picking with that tool would probably have been a lot harder. So, what I'm thinking of doing is I have our pick here, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to take this pick, oh come on focus, and I'm actually going to make a little rim on this here. Captain Hook did something very similar for the DP, so I'm just going to um, do his design and see if I can, if, is to, if this uh, can actually work on the twin copy. So, um, what I'm helping is that it will fall into this little indent, then I can go ahead and rotate it and lift it. So um, that's that's the plan. I'm going to be sacrificing this hook here. I use this hook here a lot. It's a very um, a good profile. Um, it's probably one of my most used picks and I'm sure a lot of people can uh, relate to this pick here getting uh, a lot of use. So that's why I'm sacrificing it. the result. So I just went ahead and grinded it down uh, so that we now have uh, something that looks like this. You could probably take a file and just go ahead and clean this up here. Yeah. And it won't really matter that much because um, we are going to be after doing some more profiling to this uh, later. Yeah. My next plan here actually is to use this. This is a uh, four millimeter um, rod. Uh, tool steel, uh, so it's a little bit difficult to work with, but uh, I'm sure we can make it work. I'm going to cut off a little bit of it. Actually, I'm going to face the end of it here, and I'm going to drill a two millimeter hole through it, and uh, then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make a little bit of tubing here that we can then go ahead and silver solder onto the tip here. I need to actually be able to uh, hold the camera some somewhat. So I think I'm just gonna. Apologies for what you're about to see. Yep. Uh, this one here is going now at uh, 1000 RPM. Um, it's 4mm tool steel. Um, my lathe can't really do 150, which the formula suggests, so I guess this is what we have to do. I'm actually just gonna make sure that. Very 
I have no idea how I managed to forget it, but obviously we need to thin down the walls of the tube. Uh, I've zeroed it in here now. Yeah, we've zeroed. Alright, let's see how it went. This uh, is the. Uh, oh, I'm holding the camera, by the way. That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's have a look here now. Gotta get the light in. And yeah, I think that was pretty successful. We now have a tube uh, with very little wall diameter. Alright, much better. Uh, here is what we've got now. Here it is. So we have a little um, rim-ish thing here. Could clean this up here now, but it's probably not the best way to do it. But yeah. uh, what we're going to do now is that I'm going to cut it off right here. I'm going to be putting it in the drill press. I'm going to be finishing up the uh, uh, little uh, rim here. And there's such a really nice uh, trick on how to do that in the drill press. I'll show you later. Uh, we'll get the surface finish done, uh, we will go in and solder it to the pick, and we'll shape it from there to uh, fit the lock. So that's going to do that. Here's our piece. So let's go in and check this up in the drill press and let's get it fixed. So I know how this in the drill press as you can see. And what I'm going to be doing now is that I'm going to be turning it on. And I'm going to put it down here on the side. It's going to be standing the edge of it pretty much perfectly and it's going to make a really really nice surface finish. It's not the best but uh, it works. As you can see we've got a really nice finish there. Uh, what we'll do now is that we'll go ahead and snip off uh, this uh, larger part here. So that we just have the tube, silver solder on to the uh, pick and uh, let's go from there. Alright, let's get to it. Uh -huh. When we silver solder, it's important to have things clean. Uh, I just went in and sanded the uh, surface here. Uh, the other one is already sanded, so it's already clean. And uh, this just basically guarantees that you have um, no nothing on it. So I'm going to take the nice polished edge, which could actually work a little bit as a glue here. So I'll make it a little bit stickier. I don't want to touch the clean side on this one. No. There. Okay, flex is boiling. Oh. 
Oh, is it not spreading? Um, it's actually... Um, should be sufficient, right? Uh, a lot of flux. Let's go and see if we can redo this here. It didn't work the first time on my other tool either, so it did work on the second or third video it was. Just gonna melt it down here. Seeing as we have silver inside of that little crucible, it should form the weld if we were lucky. All right, we are back. It is cooled, and um, oh, you can't see. Sorry, and uh, yeah, we do have a successful solder. This is not coming off. Yeah, that is what we wanted. Uh, so what I think I'll do now is to take the drill. Just take this thing here. It's a two millimeter drill bit. Uh, I don't have any reamers, although I don't think that they would work either on this small fork. Uh, so I'm just going to take a drill bit here. And I'm just going to see if I can manage to clean up the hole here a little bit. Yep, that's good. Let's take the Dremel and uh, let's, uh, get this thing cleaned up. Still a little bit of solder inside of there. Looks better. Let's uh, use a file here now. Right, anyway. <laughs> this is a little bit funnier now actually. Uh, it's too tight, but it's actually so tight that it completely grips onto this pin here. We'll take it back off here. Um, this doesn't allow it to rotate very much, so we can't really have it like this, but uh, I don't know, I just found it a little bit funny. Alright, we're done. This tool might have to be a little bit thinner. It's actually quite thick at the moment. Alright, here now. I've taken this twin combi here apart now, and oops, here we can see the pin that we've been measuring on. And I've also went ahead and sanded the uh, pick a little bit. And before I show you this pick here, I'm actually going to show you this thing here. Uh, this is the exact same design, it's a little bit smaller. And this is for the DP. The ASA, or Ruko, or Trevink DP. It's just a little smaller. So mine is basically the same as Captain Hook made, except that it's a little bit larger and for the twin combi. If you take a look here now, let me just see if I can orient this here now. This is what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to be going under here. Then we're supposed to trap the little pin. Now it's trapped. You can see. Now I can go in and rotate it, move it up and down every position. Have a look at that in um, the uh, sidebar port slot. The reason um, this tool here is very effective against the DP is that the DP does not have springs. This is springs. And what happens is that you need to manually drag down the sliders on the DP. You don't need to do that here. Uh, which is why it is possible to pick this lock here with a pick like this. So you can see. Uh, essentially what you do here is that you can angle it like this. It's angled. Oops. 
right angled and you have complete and total access over the pin control over the pin uh, the, what makes this tool here so difficult to use is that you do not know if you're like if you're like this directly on the pin as you want to be or if you're actually in between pins because it's very hard to feel this tool here should be a lot easier to feel uh, because now you're actually like legitimately just trapping a pin um, while on the other one you were pushing it in both directions uh, another popular way of picking these things here I do not have actually one of um, these to show you it's like using a little dimple flag uh, what you have here is the flag which can then go in and push in the pins like this you can push them in you can push them to this side you can also push them to this side this is a very good way of picking them uh, however, it also is a little bit uh, difficult. Which is why I think this tool here is going to be superior. Uh, so without uh, further ado, let's go in and take some measurements of this thing now. Why not? Yes, this is a 25,000 pick. It was done in a snowman rake. Uh, and with the tubing here, this is... Uh, do you want this a millimeter or a metric? I like metric, but I'm going to show them in both. It's 33 thousandths here. This is the uh, maximum you can have. Uh, the hole here goes down a little bit into the pick, but not much. It's a little bit hard to measure. Uh, the tubing obviously is two millimeters, but uh, as you can see here, it has a little bit of solder inside of it, is why it's a little bit smaller. Tubing is two millimeters. On the outside, just get it as small as you can, guys. Um, I said that I wanted the walls to be 0 0.7, 0 0.5 millimeters, and that's about where they are. Uh, as you can see, yep, yeah. that's the walls. Um, this picture goes down, mm, I don't know, 40, yeah, 40 millimeters ish. Um, and the shaft, the shaft needs to be very thin on this thing here. And exactly where this there is about this uh, white, and it just goes upwards from there. Um, I would like to harden this thing here, but I have not, so I cannot tell you the hardness or the springiness of this thing here. Uh, however, this is going to be quite a fragile tool unless uh, it's a way to get it actually hardened. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a 20 ish thousand spec, so yeah. That is the twin combi pick, uh, the new design. I hope uh, you are able to make this tool. Uh, please do um, give me any of your questions. I will try to answer them as good as I can. Uh, you can also ask Captain Hook because he was the one who designed this tool. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.